so first, I just want to say thank you for this panel. Um, it's really great, really informative. Um, I'm a student currently. My major is communications with the emphasis in performance studies. So I'm hoping to be an A&R one day. Um, so I had a question kind of like, basically, so like when it comes to tastemakers and everything like that, like obviously there's a clear distinction between them and a and R. And I've kind of had a question, do you guys, any of you feel like you guys have kind of become like the taste makers in a way because of the platform that your record label gives you? More specifically, like Erica, for example, because I did get to go to your recent series. So kind of just wanted to know, like, do you guys kind of like feel that you've been put in the position of being taste makers for the culture and for the industry? because of your position of being an A&R? Um, I don't think it, it, well, I'm glad you got to come to the basement. Welcome. Hey, girl. Um, hey. Yeah, I don't, it, it doesn't, when I started the basement, it wasn't because Epic had told me to start it. I really did that because I wanted unsigned artists to feel like they could come to me. Like, sometimes people don't think that you're approachable. And so, you know, I wanted to make sure that, you know, like, I'm in the streets, I'm in the building, I'm everywhere you need me to be, you know, I want to be able to just be accessible to you. And so I think it works both hands. You could definitely, you know, be that curator doing that thing that you know how to do, but at the same time, know how to work in a building. Because sometimes people don't know how to work in a building. Um, and that can be a disadvantage to them. So I think, yeah, it's just making sure you're available everywhere. And it just helps your brand overall. Hmm. Okay, good. Good to know. Good to know. Does anybody else have any thoughts? Of, do they find themselves as a tastemaker? I mean, we ultimately we are. Like, we're in charge of the radio. We're in charge of music. We're in charge of the artists that you get to listen to and, and shit. And it's our taste until it's not good or, yeah, it's our taste. Okay. Well, thank you. The biggest thing is the responsibility of that to um, the, the, give the artist the platform. It depends on the artist. Some artists may want to stay independent. Other artists, other artists may want to be to make to get that benefits come all three or separate separate from that. But I think we have a responsibility to help them help. Them get their message out to people. And I think we all kind of put in place what we'd like to get people who look like us, you know, an opportunity to message their music wide. I think can be an influence and inspiration to the generation coming up after. Yeah, I like to right. piggyback on that too. I think that I, I don't know about everybody else on the panel. For me, I feel like I'm I'm a black guy that wake up in a in a black upper class neighborhood to go eat chicken wings. You know what I mean? The lemon pepper wings, right? So I feel like I when I sign artists, I try to figure out what's missing in my community. And I do it with all genres, but for instance, I sign Lele because my daughter's eight. And when she goes to her school dance, they playing half of the records that these guys curated on this label, and it's just the instrumental. They didn't even play the radio at it because the records is too suggestive. So I felt like as an A and R and in this position, it was my taste to say, let's put this little girl and let's give her some type of deal in the format to be able to grow. And it went from Instagram to freaking, you know, old Navy commercials to Disney commercials and now something huge is about to happen. So I felt like it was my responsibility to put that in the atmosphere to be able to have these kids to have something to hang on to, if that makes sense. So that's my taste and I feel like my responsibility, if that helps as a taste maker. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It does. Well, thank you guys. Really appreciate all the knowledge and wisdom. Thank you.